Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generations Titan, uh, Titans Return Deluxe Class Highbrow. As you can see, his alter mode is a dual bladed helicopter. All else is pretty good. Um, the primary colors mostly is this light blue, all spark blue at the tip, some white, some bits of gray, some black, translucent red cockpit, which is amazing. Does have the Autobot symbol right there in the back. Um, and all in all, he looks pretty cool. He does have another one right at the, at the, that's gonna be his chest. Um, no, that looks pretty good. He does have some landing gear, which doesn't roll, uh, which is interesting. He does come with, um, before we continue the review, I forgot something in the Mindwipe review. Here's his bio card. There's Mindwipe's bio card. And we flip him up, it's upside down, but we flip it this way, he and Vorath, you can see that, um, uh, it looks like his intelligence is a little bit better than his firepower or tide. I yeah, it's tide. Anyway, regardless, that's how it is. <laughs> Anyhow, so let's take a look at Highbrow's bio card. His bio card uh, states that there he is. If we flip him over to the back side, there is his partner with his partner Exhort. Uh, he has, his strength is better than everything else. Okay, interesting. Um, yeah, so all in all, uh, Highbrow is pretty cool. Speaking of Zort, he is in the cockpit here. You can open it up, and there he is. Of course, he forms the head. He's very loose, which is interesting. So put Highbrow to the side, and there is Zort. Zort, articulation-wise, arms go up and down, legs go forward and back, head goes side to side. And that's really it. So this is Zort. Very loose knees, very loose arms. But he feels fine when you flail, flail him about, which is interesting. Anyhow, so back to Highbrow. He's a nice little helicopter, as I said. Um, of course, this is obviously based off his appearance in the comics. So which is pretty good. I say this is a very nice little rep representation of the character. Uh, that we've we've gotten uh, so far. He also comes with these two little guns here on the side. Uh, we'll pop them off here. I'll show this off. And this is a very unique little gimmick. Oh, and I think I pe I pegged off the arms, so that's uh, pretty okay. So we'll take a look at uh, at the weapons here, and you can see that um, uh, this uh, you see this little piece here, and this little piece here, and see this little slot. Uh, not slot. You know what I'm saying? There's a little. Uh, Oh, I have it the wrong way. Yes, there we go. So you pretty much know, uh, <laughs> what you do is you, you basically, you can combine the weapons and you can create a twin barreled uh, gun of uh, destruction that uh, is absolutely amazing. So um, some, uh, oh, actually, yes, there you go. That's how you do it. You connect them like this and you can actually uh, have a, a Titan Master sit in there while uh, the the uh, Deluxe Voyager leader is holding him and fire away. So that is a nice little representation there. And it's just amazing. You can flip upside down, doesn't really do anything, but if you flip it out the right side up, then there you go on that. So back to Hybro, like I said, the helicopter mode is amazing. The rear rotor does not spin, but I like that they added it. It's pretty cool. It's a very, it's a very flat looking helicopter, but it's fine. I love it. It's just, it's awesome. Okay, so enough about that. Let's get to the transformation. The transformation is pretty easy. Split the arms like this, and the next thing you want to do is you want to take, the, no, don't do that. You're supposed to split the legs first. I'm getting ahead of myself. Split the legs and then you can extend them downward. You extend the legs downward, like so. Okay, so do the same thing on the other side, which, uh, okay, it's stuck for some reason. Nope, it's not, there we go, thank you. Like that, uh, and then you can twist them. Be careful, do not pop the legs off. And then you, you just push in the legs like that, and there's the lower half. The rest of it, flip the landing gear like so. Uh, flip back the cockpit. Do not try not to bang on the rotors. If you know what I mean. Like don't hit them, like so. Um, get them situated, and then for the arms, what you do is flip out the fists like that. Um, as the rotors don't really, they don't have a position to lock. They don't transform or anything. They just sit as they are. They sit as they are. Um, and then the last little bit is to take. Uh, actually, no, not the last little bit. There is these heel pieces here that you can take and flip back, like so. 
Uh, there's a little tab here, a little tab here, there you go. A last little bit here, push, uh, push down on the chest, uh, just so the Autobot symbol is uh, slanted. And then take Xort, flip him around, there's Hybro's head, and just uh, click him into place. Uh, it's a little tricky because his connection is a little diff different than uh, what we've gotten in the past with the previous Time Masters. So there you go, lock him in like this. And there you go. There you have Highbrow in his robot mode. Oh no, it looks pretty awesome. I mean, for a character and a figure like of his uh, build quality, it's amazing. The articulation wise, head could go full 360, up, down, side to side. No, it will not, or actually it'll do a little bit of the bobble head, but that's fine. Arms can actually, uh, they can extend outward like this, and they will go a full 360 degrees. Out to the side, they will bend to the elbow, they will rotate. Uh, the wrists go bend in and out, and that's about it. The legs go forward back out to the side, bend in the knee, they will rotate, and the uh, the heels are posable. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't have um, any waist articulation, but uh, that's, uh, I guess that's how it is with this figure. It does, uh, this transformation does share similarities with Scourge and the fact with the waist transformation and all that, but what can you do? Take a look at Hybro's head, it's just, it's very awesome. Love the visor, love the facial expression, it's like he's all serious, Captain Serious. And all in all, it just looks pretty, uh, it just looks pretty, just amazing. Now, the weapons. You can take the weapons, like this. Uh, this is, uh, I'm gonna try this. We're gonna take and rotate the wrists, or forearms, sorry. Then what you can do is combine the weapons into the hands. So, do it like this, do it like that. And, and it unconnected, but, uh, you can stay connected, thank you. And that's how you can do it. That's how you can fire away at, uh, at enemies, but the actual physical way, uh, if you want, if you wish, if you don't like the weapons, like that, is to, ro is to, um, is to split them and just give them however you wish, but all of this figure is just amazing. It's just, it's just, it's just very good. It's a nice little, little figure. Even though he's not really little. He's not a legend, he's a deluxe. <laughs> Anyhow, all in all, will I recommend getting Highbrow? I'm gonna say yes, he's a nice little figure. Um, of of course, um, he, Hardhead, um, uh, who else? Uh, Chrome Dome and Brainstorm, the main four Headmaster Autobots. Now, Brainstorm is a Walgreens exclusive, <laughs> which is interesting. I don't have a Walgreens where I live, but all in all, I think um, as a whole, if you're looking to get, uh, if you really want to complete the Autobot Headmasters, go get him. He's a nice little, he's a nice little figure. The copter mode's exceptional. I've heard some great reviews about Trigger Happy, even though I don't have Trigger Happy. Um, but this guy is just, just amazing. Um, very simple, very solid, and just. I love the, the the weapons combining. It's just very awesome. Um, I just I just can't wait to see what this guy will be repainted into uh, or how it will be used again. It's just it'll be amazing to see, just to say the least. See how this my video review the Transformers Generations Titans Return Deluxe Class Highbrow. I will uh, with, with Exhort. I will see you all very soon. I will be back as soon as possible with my next video. And yeah, so take your season and have a good day, and I'll catch you all later. Bye bye.